delighted with our first AS Women in Law event here at Allen Overy. We've had a range of speakers of varying seniority and employers within the legal profession as well as in-house. It's been an excellent array of opinions, insights and collective optimism about how women are now fearing within the profession and the steps that still need to be taken in order to ensure gender parity is achieved in the near future. Five partners were able to join our senior female panel and were able to offer some very honest insights into the challenges they had faced, whether when they were raising a family or when dealing with largely male-dominated team or clients. I'd have loved this kind of event to be about when I was embarking on my career. Women were few and far between when I started off and those that were about, there wasn't a collegiality about it. So this kind of event is fantastic, even now at my stage of my career. Some of the tips that I've been given today have been really helpful, particularly with imposter syndrome. The barriers in front of you aren't always ones put in there by other people, but ones that you put in front of yourself. One of the things that really stands out for me is how raw and authentic a lot of the answers are from the panellists. We're talking about situations that may Maybe a lot of other people wouldn't be so comfortable about opening up about, whether that be a family life and work life environment. But I really do admire the fact that these women have come up and they've used their voice and their platform. I think being a good leader, you really need to be able to listen and give good feedback. There was a great question that came out of the audience. How do you deal with failure? which I think really resonated with everyone on the panel because it's something that everyone will have to face at some point in their careers. And it's not about not dealing with failure, but how you deal with it and what you can learn from it. So my advice would be to embrace failure, just learn to fail smarter. Clearly the students have really thought about the questions before they came. They were really engaged and they obviously really thought about what they wanted to get out of the day and hopefully they're left feeling like their questions were answered. I have one piece of advice I'd give to a woman starting out in law, and that's never start a sentence with sorry, unless you're actually apologizing for something you did wrong. I think for the first time in my life, I'm very confident that there's going to be gender parity. I've never seen so many firms take it so seriously. If you want to have innovation in the legal profession, you need diversity. Obviously careers are really important to a lot of people, but there is also more to life than careers. Being happy is one of the most important things. You only live once. As a woman, never try to live up to the expectations that society often has you know, to be masculine or to act like a man. Just be yourself, believe in your ability and go for it.